is the crime of our time. From local law enforcement to the Federal Bureau of Investigation, agencies are fearful of the rising increase of children and teens targeted online and extorted after being tricked into sending sexually explicit messages. Growing up, we used to be like, when the lights went off, you come home. And everyone came home when the lights went off because that's when it was dangerous. On the internet, the lights are always off. Kern County Assistant District Attorney Tyson McCoy prosecutes cases like these. He says what's being seen nationwide is also happening here. We've seen it here locally. Um, we've seen sex torsion taking place. Um, I've seen it in a case involving a young girl. In one case, McCoy said a young girl was targeted repeatedly by the same criminal. Even after blocking messages and profiles, he continued to extort her. Traffickers are master manipulators. They will go onto your child's social media sites. They will learn information about your child, and then they will use that to threaten and exploit them. They will tell their child, I know where you live. I know you went to this school. I know your friends this person. Since 2016, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children's Cyber Tip Line received over 260,000 reports of online extortion, including sexual messages. Last year, at least 3,000 children were victims of schemes, according to the FBI. While most victims are between 14 to 17 years old, McCoy says they're starting to see younger children targeted. As young as like 8, 9, and 10 years old. McCoy says many of these cases are tough to investigate because kids often feel shame and embarrassed. He says that's why it's even more important to have these conversations. It's really important that parents talk to their kids about not accepting requests, not sharing information with people that they don't know, keeping their privacy settings on a maximum level.